this I thought you really need to know before it's too late. You can upgrade to Windows 10 right from Microsoft for free. They don't advertise it and they make it kind of hard to find but it, it's been there for about four months so I don't know how long it'll be there but it is there now so and that's pretty important to do an upgrade because Windows 10 has what's called digital entitlement now this is my host machine as you can see I got a digital license linked to my Microsoft account only because I'm signed into my Microsoft account either way it gives you a digital license because it registers at Microsoft and in fact on this computer I reinstall Windows 10 uh, about once a year just to start over clean so I'm going to show you how to get it. I have Windows 7 running on a virtual machine right here. This is a computer built within a computer in case you didn't know. And I already have the pages open and I'll put these links below in my video. If you were to buy it to get the digital license you'd be spending $200. If Amazon might be cheaper but I don't think it'd be too much cheaper right now they still have the upgrade free and you get the digital license all right I'll make this video short and you download that I had a download manager so it's okay it's already started I see it down there okay there's only a few things that need my assistance along the way so I'm just gonna pause until it needs my assistance that way you can see what you'll need to do alright it asks you a couple times along the way you have to accept the agreements you have really have no choice and the next thing it'll ask me if I want to do an upgrade or download just the ISO file to install on other computers but you have to do the upgrade first in order to get your digital license and that way your individual computer will be registered at Microsoft for a digital license and then you can just install Windows 10 over and over and it automatically activates. So you click it on upgrade this PC now, click next and first it downloads it then it checks your computer and I'll just uh, hit and miss along the way. I won't let you miss any single time that needs my assistance. Okay now I have to accept the terms again and uh, getting updates checking for updates I'll be back when it needs my assistance again okay right here if there is anything that will not run on Windows 10 it will show you right here the VirtualBox graphics adapter that goes with my uh, VirtualBox and it will work in there it just doesn't recognize it as normal Windows system as far as that goes so you click confirm and then you want to install Windows 10 Pro and right here it says keep personal files and apps well I don't want to so I'm gonna click right here I want to check nothing keep nothing as it's up to you whatever you want and then click next all right, I'll, I'll be back in the next step. All right, it's giving me one last chance to make sure everything is correct. Install Windows 10 Pro and keep nothing. If you don't decided to change your mind, you can click right here and, and add to keep your files or all your apps. All right, I'm just going to click install. Now at this point, it will I don't think it'll if I remember right it don't ask me anything at all until Microsoft until Windows 10 is completely installed and then it'll ask me some of the settings for Windows 10 like Cortana and Microsoft settings I'll be right back when it gets to that okay now I switch to this screen this takes an awful long time I would say close to an hour and a half to two hours but 
like I said, I won't let you miss any any moment that it needs my assistance, so you'll know how to do it yourself. I'll be right back. The little microphone icon towards okay, the bottom of the screen. Okay, now it comes to the all settings. If you need an assistive screen reader, press the Windows, Control, and Enter keys at the same time to turn on narrator. Okay, enough intro. Let's dig in. You can talk to Cortana and you just answer it yes or no, but on my virtual machine I don't have ingoing sound, so I have to click on United it. United States. Is that right? So I'm just going to click on the buttons. Your keyboard is set to US. Want to stick with that? Do you also type with another keyboard layout? No, I don't. Now we have some important setup to do. But this way you get uh, digital license. That's why it is so important. It's called digital entitlement. It'll be activated on Microsoft servers. Now, let us know if this computer is owned by your work or school, or if it's yours. We'll set it up accordingly. Set up for personal use. Click next. Type your email address or phone number, then follow the instructions to sign in. I'll Let's catch up with you once that's done. Now this is for a Microsoft account, and I have that on my regular host machine, my in my home computer here. But on this, I'll just create an offline account. You're about to set up an offline account, but I wanted to make sure you know Windows works way better with a Microsoft account. Do you want to do that instead? And he's very true, it does, but I'm still going to click no just for this video. Type what you want to name your account. Let's see. I'll just put my name on there. It still gives you another chance. They want you to have an account really bad but and you can still sign into account later on okay now type a password for your account and I'm, I'm not gonna put one in there I'm just gonna click next hey look that's me Cortana can I have permission to use the info I need to do my best work I'll click yes these are the settings Microsoft recommends go ahead and review them and select accept when you're ready your best bet is to accept them all. I mean, Windows 10 it will just be restricted if you don't. Almost done now. We just need to get a few more things polished up for you, and Windows will be all yours. Looking forward to helping out. And then it'll go to a black screen and it completes itself. I'll be back when it's completely installed. We're almost done. And I'll show you that it has a digital license, even on a virtual machine. Because uh, Microsoft has no idea that it's a computer running inside a computer. It's, this is VirtualBox, by the way. VirtualBox. Okay, I'll pause for a second. Okay. Now that it's installed, it's completely installed, I'm going to click. I don't want it to be discovered by other computers in my house. So I'm going to click no. And this just looks funny because I don't have that guest editions added in yet. Okay, there is the uh, Internet Explorer, only now it's called Microsoft Edge. Let's see. You click right here. It's still a little sluggish because it's uh, going through some disk thrashing because it just uh, just freshly got installed. See, activated with a digital license. That is so important. And uh, I guess that's it. Notifications will pop up for a little while 
telling you you can now set it for reminders and everything okay thank you guys very much for watching sorry it was long I see it's at uh, about 10 minutes but it took about close to two hours to do this whole thing thank you for watching and please subscribe